Welcome back to the lab, folks. What I think I want to do today has been a project I've had on my mind for a little while anyway, is uh, what I want to do is I want to take this um, T7 multifunction tester and kind of upgrade it a little bit. I find this little 300 milliamp hour battery doesn't last very long. So I got this uh, 1200 milliamp hour battery and I'm going to replace this with this. I thought I had ordered the, the right connector, but it, it's, it's a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is going to have to cut this connector off here and uh, attach it on here, but that doesn't matter. And I can keep this battery for something else. And also what I want to do, I, I just hate these. I really hate these little things. And if you're, if you're trying to measure something that's a little bit odd, that won't fit in here, then these little, they're just they're awful. Sometimes they fly apart and yeah, they're just, so I'd much rather use something like this. Maybe not these particular ones, but uh, I can make up some some other ones even better than these. So I want to put in uh, proper banana plugs, and also you know that will allow me to attach it to other things with longer cables and stuff like that. So it, it give me a little bit more in the way of uh, connection options, and that's about it. Now there are some considerations though. So this this battery is considerably thicker than this one. And while this one uh, uh, escapes, you know, fairly well from touching anything on the other side of the, the board, uh, this one, if I just if I was to put it in with foam tape, it would it would be considerably higher than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in with carpet tape, and then maybe put some uh, some tape over it as well as a security measure. But I'm also going to put it in this way, so it doesn't extend over any further than this. Because if you notice here. There's a crystal that comes down and I think that might, you know, trying to eyeball it in here, I think that might contact, that might contact the battery, but it, it just, it just, it just seems to just clear it anyway, but just to be on the safe side. And the next thing I'm going to do is after I get the battery put in, I'm going to put in these uh, banana sockets and they, now that I have more room up here, because the battery will be down here, I, I'm going to try to put them in here. They shouldn't interfere anyway, because I'm going to I'm going to have this part on the outside so that they will extend outside the case a little bit but they'll only extend in that far and if I get them at the right height they won't interfere at all with the board now there is another option the, op the other option would be to put them on the top but the problem there is that when you the board fits in here it kind of uh, kind of sinks down in a little bit giving it a heck of a lot less room to put things in here in the top so I think it'd be better if they go into the bottom piece. That way I can have them raised up a little bit more and I have more room altogether for connections and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll start off gingerly by just making one hole and trying things. Um, that way at the very worst, I've only, I've, I've got a case with one hole in it and I can live with that uh, because the effort is, is worth the potential reward in my estimation. All right, so let's get started with this. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and s just remove this battery like that. Now I'll clean that up a little bit. Now this will fit in like this right over the, the side. Okay, so let me go get the carpet tape. I should change the lead on the battery first. Okay, so we have the connector changed over and before we go any further, let's uh, let's plug it in and see if uh, I mean what could go wrong, right? Let's plug it in and see if everything's okay. Seems to be 3.8 volts, okay. All right, let's get our uh, carpet tape out here. So this is a two-sided tape. It doesn't have any sponginess to it. It's just a flat tape, and I'll put some across here and trim it off with my knife. This is where you need three hands. Okay, that worked out. Okay, so I want it. We'll avoid that. So about here. Okay, that's stuck in there really good. Now I'm going to plug it back in and try and fit this back into place and make sure that it kind of fits in there really well. 
Okay, that does seat down onto the pillars and it does not come in contact with the battery. That's, that's good. First mod is uh, successful. Come on, let you go. All right, good, we'll put that one aside for now. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put that polyamide type, polyamide, I don't know how you say it. I'm just gonna put a strip this wide across there, give it a little bit of extra protection, a little bit more hold down, just in case, you know, maybe if it does come loose, I don't want it uh, scratching up against some of these sharper things here, which I'll trim off as well. Okay, so let me put this on there. Okay. Now the interesting part. We want to try and find out where the best location is to put these. Okay, that's what I've got so far. So I'm going to try and drill some holes. I'll try to get them close to that size as possible and then mount one up and see kind of what it looks like. All right, so this is what I have here. This is the one hole I drilled and tried out. I've got this tightened up. The tab is bent in, so it clears the next one that's got to go in. I don't think I can put them in on standard centers here. Well, maybe I can. Yeah, I think I can. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to move these holes in a little bit so that they're on standard centers, because why not? So I'll mark those. And then I'll do the other two because it clears everything. I tried the board on it off camera because I didn't want to. And yeah, it, it clears the board. It's well clear of any connections on the back like these here. It's well clear of that. And so I think we can proceed with this. All right, so I've got all three of these mounted up and put in place. I got a little bit of blue Loctite on them, keep them mounted up. And I've got the, the little lugs all bent out so I can solder onto them. And I just want to test fit the case here. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Test fit the board. Yep. That's fine too. Not interfering with anything. So uh, I'm going to get those wires soldered up. All right, folks. So we've got it all kind of wired up here. Uh, I wired it up with the colors of the connectors. Now what I did here is I, uh, I just put some of that tape along here to keep it all down on the board there. The things from flapping around the breeze. So let's uh, kind of settle all this in here together. And uh, we'll stick some leads in it. And uh, we'll test a 10K resistor. Now probably the best thing to do is to put all three leads in short them out together and do a calibration and do a different calibration for when you're using the socket so that would be ideal but this is just a just a quick test here and let's see how it comes out 10.35k resistor between one and two that's what we want to see now it should be between one and three 10.36k resistor i'll forgive it that 10 ohms there yeah yeah it's working I'm going to clamp the thing shut and then we'll get some more leads and um, we'll try it out with some more interesting stuff. Always worth repeating when you're putting uh, plastic screws in, back them up until you feel a little click so it falls into its thread and uh, do it up. And then when you do it up, just, you know, barely finger tight. It doesn't, you don't have to crank down on it at all. I've seen so many plastic cases ruined because somebody decided that they're going to, you know, put a hundred foot pounds of torque on the screw. It's just absolutely not necessary. All right, one more. Okay, there it is. There's the upgraded. Oh, a little dirt there. I'll get that off. Uh, the upgraded uh, T7 multifunction tester. We got uh, four times the battery capacity at least, and we can put proper banana cables into it and they're at standard spacing that's a little tight but if it fits i was off by maybe half a millimeter there or so okay let me see uh let's try something out here let's try quickly doing some of these testing some of these components here in these little calibrated boxes that i have 
and we'll see what the results are. Now, these are long leads, so I'm going to short them all together and do a calibration. Now, when I click the button, it should come up in calibration mode. Self-test in, 3K, okay, that's good. That uh, should be like a one ohm resistor. These are kind of long for one ohm resistor, so if we see something like in around the two, three ohm range, we should be okay with that. 0.97, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's try 100 ohms. 101.2, that's gonna get up here to 10K ohms, 10.4K. Let's see here, handle the 10 mega ohms, 10.17 mega ohms, beautiful. Okay, this is this is far more uh, professional than, than, than dealing with that sort of stuff. Of course, you could use you could use cables with alligator clips on them, which is probably what I would use. Um, so let's uh, let's try see if it can find out this uh, Schottky diode here. 0 0.313 millivolts. So it knows it's a diode and it knows it's uh, in around about right. So it does depend on the current. So we're putting 97 milliamps through it. Let's try this, a standard silicone diode here. 0 0.723 millivolts. Yeah, perfectly fine. Oh, it gives a capacitance for this, but of course we've got these long leads here. If we separate the leads, let's pull this one out. We separate the leads a bit. We should reduce the capacitance between them, and uh, let's see if that happens. Yeah, it goes down. So let's have a look here. Sixteen point two five nanofarads. Let's try twenty six UF. So twenty seven point three nine. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Okay, let's go back to our diodes here, and. Uh, We'll try this LED here, red LED, 1.8 volts. Yeah, 1.86 volts. Is it amber LED, is it? Yeah. 1.96 volts. So yeah, this works. I think uh, I'm convinced that this, this was a good move. So there it is, the upgraded T7. I'm gonna, one final upgrade on it. I wasn't actually thinking of doing this, it just occurred to me. I'm gonna put some rubber feet on it because it does like to slide around. It's like a, an air hockey puck. So I would like that to stop. So I'm gonna put some of these little rubber feet on it. I should first clean it off with some alcohol. At least more You know, rubber feet in and out from schools. Okay, there we go. Ah, yeah, that's nice. That's rock solid. It's not a, it's not an air hockey puck anymore. <laughs> I think that's a, a nice little upgrade, and, and it feels chunkier too. It feels like it's worth more. With that big battery in it, it feels nice. Yeah. Let me know what you think of it, guys. Leave your comments below. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say, uh, and would you have done anything differently? Okay. That's it for today, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.